Jason and Jamari. What's up guys? This is Jason from the Jason and Jabari Gaming and today we are going to talk about my 15th rank 3 champion. Uh, for those of you who missed out on my 14th rank champion then spoiler alert ahead um, but here you go. <clears throat> you can always go back and watch who I ranked up and as to why I did what I did. Primarily, I rank up champions for War and Battlegrounds. Um, right now, I am in my retirement alliance, so I will not be ranking up for War. However, I will be ranking up for Battlegrounds because I do plan on playing Battlegrounds um, <clears throat> a little bit more, um, I guess, more than normal for me uh, because war and stuff like that will be a lot more chill for me it won't be as stressful uh, now that I'm in my retirement home so um, yeah so as you can see we have 14 um, we have one mutant who is Nightcrawler one of my favorite champions in this game uh, we have two tech champions who is Guardian and Stark Spidey. Um, we have three Mystic Champions. I guess we should just kind of tap on them so you guys can see uh, who I'm talking about. We have three Mystic Champions, Sasquatch, Juggernaut, and Kindred. Uh, we have three Science Champions, Titania, Photon, and Piggy. Uh, we also have three skill champions in Bullseye, Killmonger, and um, where's, uh, Korg, sorry, I was getting lost. <laughs> and actually we have two mutant champions because we took up dust, so I lied, we have two mutant champions. Uh, and finally we have one cosmic champion, and that's Maestro. So um, we're lacking on the cosmic, and then we have mutant and tech that have two champions. Um, so we're gonna go to our options now. We're gonna move rank twos, and we're just going to sort those out by the classes that we can take up. So we can take up Spot, who is a science champion. Um, he is SIG 60. Uh, so that would be a decent SIG. And Spot's pretty good offensively. Defensively, he's lackluster in my opinion. Um, but he's still pretty solid offensively. He's very, very fast. Um, he can, at a rank three, he could probably nuke most things with a single SP2 um, after he'd do an SP1 rotation though. So you would have to keep that in mind. Kind of like Guardian for most things, he can do a SP1, SP2. So I'd say, you know, about 35, 30-ish fights maybe 40 um but he can nuke most things with pretty relatively decent health in my opinion so there is an option also we can do a cosmic we talked about serpent at length so i'm not really going to go too much into it but he's still unawakened so i i will still be banning him even as a rank three unawakened because he won't have that signature ability that gives him that immortality to make him such a menace so even if i take him to rank three which he is a consideration for today um he i would still be banning people who have rank twos that are duped or six star ascendants or uh rank threes that are duped so that's the only thing holding me back from taking up serpent at already um we have king groot who I do like. Um, we have Noel. He is amazing. I do like him. We have Gladiator. I am not a Gladiator fan in any way, shape, or form, but for those of you who like him, that's that's fantastic. Uh, and we have Gore, who is tactic for this season. All of them actually are tactic minus Serpent, uh, now that, that I'm looking at that. Um, but 
Gore is a signature 120, but I am not a Gore fan. <laughs> I, I just, I'm not a Gore fan. So next up, we have the tech class that we can take up. I don't think we can take the mutant class up, no we can't, okay. And out of the tech class, we have Mysterio, who I've been a long time fan of Mysterio. He can do a lot of impressive things. I was on the Mysterio bandwagon for a very long time. Um, we also have uh, Iron Man. Iron Man is super, super tanky. Uh, his tankiness is absolutely wild. Um, offensively, he's not very fast, in my opinion. Um, but he can do some impressive things. He has his immunities as long as he has his armor up, so he's pretty viable, in my opinion. Um, we have Red Skull, who I have at um, Sig, what, 40, it looks like. And he is super impressive. He is a very good champion. Um, I have been keeping him in my Battlegrounds deck uh, ever since I got him, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy playing him. Offensively, he's not super, super fast, um, but he's fast enough. He can do some impressive fights in around 40-ish seconds. Um, I don't think he can do any 30-second fights without any like assistance from the meta, but he can he can do fast fights. He can put up 50k scores. Um, and most notably, him and Mysterio are impressively, impressively good domino counters, excuse me. Uh, there's also Warlock. Now, Warlock is unawakened, but he doesn't need his awakened ability that much. It does benefit him, but he doesn't need it. And, um, he's just not a good domino counter in my experience. Uh, for some reason, it might have been the relics or whatever, but he was always taking crit fail damage. I was always taking crit fail damage with him, whereas with Mysterio and Red Skull, I was not taking any. So that's the only thing that really holds me back uh, if I was going to do a tech champion. And uh, honestly, uh, I mean, I like Warlock, but he's not like at the top of my list when it comes to uh, tech champions, right? Uh, and then there's my boy Civil Warrior, um, but he's not in any meta right now for war, so we won't we won't be entertaining that, guys. <laughs> Just saying. So here are our options for our number 15. Um, I've stated a couple of reasons why I don't want this video to be like super super long, um, but. Uh, after carefully deciding, uh, I think it would be best for me to take someone that's already in my Battlegrounds deck because you only have 30 slots. Um, and honestly, that decision just came down to who would be the most useful to me offensively and defensively when I needed them. So that eliminated serpent because he would only be defensively you could try to use him offensively but he wouldn't be very fast um and he would be in very niche matchups which i would not prefer warlock we could use him offensively defensively he works but he's not the best defender around uh king groot is slow in battlegrounds um I like him a lot, but he's not fast. I've tried him. He's just not fast. Even at rank three, a lot of people have rank threes now. So if he punches in his own weight, he would still be slow. Um, Null is a great option offensively and defensively, but I don't tend to use cosmic champions like that. I just find them not to be that strong. There's a couple that are really, really strong like Hulkling and CGR that you always run. And then there's others that you may put in for beneficial reasons for various metas, but they're not like all that great. You can make an argument for Gallon and the Cinda Gallon, but that, apart from those guys, um, you know, you have defenders like Maestro and stuff like that, who can work offensively if your opponent has a fam. So again, a kind of niche or Serpent, right? So. Anyway, uh, Spot 
I don't value him as a defender, to be honest. Um, he gets nuked by a lot of different champions, so I stopped valuing him as a uh, defender. Um, and Mysterio, I like him a lot, but his... I don't know. He kind of slid a little bit for me when he just kept getting nuked. Um, and maybe that's just those metas or whatever but it did kind of suck for me offensively he's still fine in my opinion he's not super fast though um so normally he's a stall option but if he's not able to stall the way you need him to then it just doesn't work as well but he's still solid he's just not as solid as who i'm going to be taking up and iron man has never been a fast attacker ever but he is a very versatile champion and he's a tanky defender, but he's an easy defender. He's just tanky. So the decision that I decided to go with was this guy here, Red Skull. He's going to be great for the next meta with uh, the armor ups, but uh, I mean, I have him at SIG 40 um, and uh, yeah, he's always in my battlegrounds deck. So I could use him as a defender, which he is a nasty defender. He stalls, he's tanky at rank three, and offensively, he works very, very well. Um, so he works for various matchups too, not just against mutant champions. So yeah, for me, um, it all boiled down to he's already in my deck. I don't need to change my deck up if I find somebody else to put in there. And he he's very versatile. He works both ways. He's a dual threat and um, yeah, I like him. So without further ado, I'm gonna hit that button and ladies and gentlemen, my 15th rank three champion is Red Skull, uh, SIG 40. So I'm very, very pumped for this. Um, again, I, I really like Red Skull. Um, I'm a fan of the buff that they gave him. I feel like he's He's pretty well balanced. He's not broken or anything like that. Uh, and and he, uh, he definitely can stall on defense. Uh, he could trip your opponent up if they hit his block while he has a decent amount of armor up. They're going to take a ton of damage back for doing that. So, uh, and Battlegrounds is about speed and it's about health. And he, he helps... Uh, you as a defender on both of those because he's tanky so he takes a while to take down and health wise if they don't play him right they're gonna suffer so yeah um so that's that's really good i'm i'm very happy with this decision let's go to my uh rank threes here and uh now you see that there are three of them so there he is in all of his glory um, 73k health, so you know he's kind of tanky. We do run the uh, uh, Green Goblin uh, six-star relic for him, so that does help him out a little bit. Um, and uh, here are his stats at rank three. For those of you who would like to see that, um, the numbers did go up slightly. It looks like. Uh, from what I saw earlier um, but yeah man uh, let me know you guys thoughts uh, if you got a rank 3 or um, anything like that coming up who you're going to take up let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me and uh, why the only thing I ask is that you just be respectful and uh, yeah man uh, we will catch you guys in the next one I'm looking forward to this battleground season is coming up my deck is getting kind of nasty Peace.